I have returned. No! Uh, with nothing, because I'm not hungry. Gosh. Darn it. Well, I uh, a testament to your stamina, then. When we all, I'm going to eat my, bit, my last bit of uh, leftover pasta. While well, Hilda's like... <laughs> really, really, Ray? This is this is the gag. This is the gag. Eh. Listen, I need to Dad. eat my pasta. All right. It's all in there. I know. It's all in there. Why get enough for two loads? All of those armors. Ron, you mentioned being surprised about seeing one generic Baron in the last map, right? Oh god. How 17 sound? Oh god. Kaka, please. How does 17 sound to you? Now, now there's the talk. Authority level. Man has to talk with uh, self. Selif or uh, Rottle Man. And that's, uh, figure as they must be lovers at this point. So, uh, yeah. And also, Ratney, I believe. Let's talk with Johan or Johalvier or Selef, or Shanann, and they must be all be lovers. Well, one of them. Well, this is gonna be hella awkward. This is gonna be extremely awkward. You're hella awkward! Indeed. I'm helping. Thank you for that, Vanessa. Hilda's CO powers. See your parents. Like, look at this. This is gonna be really awkward. Everything alright, Johan? No, Han. No, Han. Stinging kiss of fatigue. Uh, that was a rhetorical question. Uh, I don't care. Answer it anyway. Fuck you, I make my own rules. I'm Johan. Uh, uh, uh. That gives them um, plus three strength, only I uh, was only two because he's already close to the cap, and now he is capped, so bada bing. <laughs> you leave Bing out of this. I saw something in our chat. What did you do, Ron? That. Just a little thing our uh, paladin likes to do. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, go ahead and roll for it. <laughs> There's no way they can get it, can they? I've hardly done anything special, have I? Well, you and uh, good old Sean. Thanks for letting still... me. Fuck you, silly man. I still not class changed yet, but so then again, so is John. So. All my work here is done. But you didn't even do anything. Yeah, playing. Even when we were children. Something feels amiss! <laughs> this is a being with you who hurt Miss Yulia. Something feels amiss! That conversation is supposed to grant Rez <laughs> to uh, Selif, but he's capped already, so... Oops. 
Yeah, I, I, I think he's fine. He's perfectly fine. Oh, the pause. That's the police coming to arrest Stella for trying to fuck his sister. It all came crashing down too fast. <laughs> anyway, I'm up here. Here come the 17th Thunder Barons of Justice. Ready to be like, eh, sup? Most of these guys have Silver Lances and Thorn, though two in the back have Fortify instead. Hilda's back, being rude again. Now she's got- now she's got a Fortify. Fucking Hildo. Yeah, uh, in the original Japanese version of FE4, she's- her holy blood is bugged and displays Major Dane blood instead of minor Vala here. Try to let your patches fix that. It's purely yeah, cosmetic, she's... but hey, it was an error, so fix it. Anyway, she's boss number eight. This guy, Baron, is boss number nine. You're boss number nine. And there's this guy surrounded by these five sleep mages. How exciting. How very, very unmoist. Once you get to about here, though, expect company from behind you. Ah. What's really this? now? It's Look, you've known me for like 10 years now. I'm gonna go for it. Of course you are. She would. She has. You can't expect Ray to be like, they came from behind and me not to go, <laughs> anal. Even Chad knows it. I'm not here to be original. Yeah, Did people, people do not watch me for my comedy, all right? People watch me for some you, reason, I I wash this way. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen here, Mangs. We have different takes of comedy, but you know what? I appreciate your Mangs honesty. Here. <laughs> you forgot the TM on that comedy, there, Mangs. See, that's a good point. All right, done. I'm paying attention to chat. Me too. Right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he what? Is. I mean, Papa. Sorry, look. Sorry. Player face started. It's time for horse emblem. Get moving. I'm doing my part, all right? You you decided to do this playthrough. Yes, I, I did. Of course. You could have left well enough alone. But no, he had to beat Eddie 4 again. Thank you and good night. I'm decent level. Well, they can't sound like trains because they don't use that uh, train sound effect that they use in Super Famicom Wars for the rail turtles. That's some weird shit in Famicom Wars. Then again, Super Famicom Wars came out two years after this game, so... They had some real weird shit back in the day. You could say that there's no substitute for race comedy, but that's only because... No one else on the internet would be willing to put themselves through this pain. You lie. I don't. You lie. Mangs is right there. Did he want to? Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> See, you wanted to do this. For some ungodly reason. Because my old FE4 LP is extremely bad by today's standards. No, it's not, not the, the sub, the sub run part, Ray. Because I like the substitutes. Mm, all of them? Not all of them, but <laughs> if I'm going, I'm going. If I'm going in for a penny, I'm going in for the pound, and I'm going in for the whole bag. You're not even from the UK, Ray. In for a penny, in for a pound. In for the whole fifty dollars. All right, is that better for you? Yes. It's about how much our dollar is worth compared to UK money right now. You said it here. Look, I, I live on Maple Monopoly money, okay? I, I know my dollar is worth nothing.
Look, okay, like our money. One smells like maple. There is a scratch and sniff spot on every Canadian bill. It's a counterfeiting measure. If if the money smells like maple, it's real. And two, our guess. money's plastic. So plastic. it's fucking monopoly money. Plastic. Hey, actually, you'll never get fake Canadian bills. Yeah, actually, when I was over at the Raisins wedding, uh, we did actually have someone from Canada down here. Plastic and, money. Uh, yeah, they showed us their money, and I'm like, this isn't real. And it's colorful, like, it's plastic, and it smells like maple. Yeah. Thanks, Maple Mafia. He also, Our... gave, me Can he also gave me cookies from Canada. Well, those aren't any different. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but they still tasted good. Our, our five dollar bills are, are blue, our ten dollar bills are purple, our twenties are green, our fifties are red, our hundreds are hundreds are brown. We don't oh, have one dollar bills because that's stupid. We don't have what? One dollar bills. Here that's they come. Mm. How do you break change then? With loonies and toonies. <laughs> A Looney is one dollar. A toonie is two dollars. Men cut through the forest. No, literally like boss cut 10? through it. Yes, this is boss ten. Huh. Our money's not even paper. Shit, dude. <clears throat> Canadian dollar dues. Well, that's what they are. We've got, got the the we we stopped using the penny by the way. Pennies are for losers. Um. You got the nickel and the dime and the quarter. 50 cent coins are stupid. Uh, the loony and the toony. That's all you need. <laughs> did, you say, did you mention quarter? Yeah. Nickel, okay, dime, quarter. Good. 50 cent coins are dumb. And the loony and toony. They tuny. are dumb. Um, but the quarter is my favorite because it's powerful. I like the quarter. The quarter's got some weight to it. Here yeah. come the bacon ridder. They, they're, they're, their <laughs> shtick is old by now. Oh man, I gotta wash this down. Good work, The nickel isn't quite there yet, you know? Ah. And the dime can go fuck itself. Hi! Wow. <laughs> Harsh Our opinions here. Little... Our dime's got little boats on him. You leave the dime alone. Here's Master Scorpius. Master Scorpius. He's got a killer bow. And, uh, almost cap strength. Decent enough stats everywhere else. With pursuit and cost. And no holy blood. What a loser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. That killer bow is pretty dangerous, though, since it's like, super lightweight and has high crit chance, so... He also, he also has 80 HP. What a fat ass. You know why he's a loser? No way in space. No way in space. Actually, no way in space. What, is he a Mazinger and a portable? Power, I need space. <laughs> I hate that tweet. Why did I link it? I did this to myself. I only have me to blame. Uh, now let's expedite this process a little bit. Yeah, I only have myself to blame for this joke spirit. I don't know why I started doing it, but we're playing Alpha Gaiden one day and Ray's going over stats and I'm like, man, no, no A in the air, but look at that A in space. Look at that A in space. <laughs> I'm just fucking doing it ever since, because that's how gags work, I guess. <laughs> oh, good. Femina can't, isn't, is being put to sleep, so that means I can just have her uh, sus on in and take good. care of them when the time is right. Oh. The time is right. Oh, time, the, the, the yellow border is, is halting her progress. As well as the, the 17 barons of lightning, the, the seekers of chaos they are. The Seekers of Darkness. Hey, you better pray you don't land, otherwise we're gonna fucking make sure you're put in the dirt. They are not here to screw around. Hilda 17 Seekers of Darkness. Yes. This is the true Neo organization. Kingdom Hearts got real serious in the Remind DLC. Yeah, freaking with the child murder, torture and shit. 
No more going all in for this one. Real tone setter, but hey, I appreciate the, the moxie he's got. I don't think Sora would approve. Freaking poor, poor Sora, his mind's broken by learning all this news. That's... that's nuts! That's always good. in DLC? <laughs> Saurus, jeez! <laughs> Riku's got bugs in him. What? <laughs> By the way, if you if you uh sack uh Frege, uh all of the Beijing Raider guys disappear since they're tied to Frege. Nice. Don't worry, guys, we're here to save, and then they poof. Where'd they go? Ah, uh, shit, one slipped through. I'd say this is going quite well. Hello, bitch. I'm doing something. I see. What are you doing? Aren't your plans? Aren't my plans? <laughs> are your plans? <laughs> well, are you? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Yes. <laughs> Is it time for another uh, evil the script notes or cliff notes? Spark notes? What was it? What is it, spirit? <laughs> From you, a notes. Lola notes? Spark notes? Dude. So it sounds like it's time for some more Alola notes. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Spark notes are kind of cliff notes. Yeah, I mean, sure, I, I mean, I don't particularly have a story to tell, so no soda notes for me yet. Sorry. All right. Well, uh, I talked about the Orochi saga last stream, so I may as well do the Nest saga this stream. <laughs> but before I get into it, uh, let's see. Uh, there's a character that I forgot to mention from the Orochi saga, and that is uh. This is K Wap, by the way. Anyway. Uh huh. That's, uh, Shingo Yabuki. You know Fucking... who Shingo is, uh, Ray? Fucking Shingo! No, Ray, yeah. Uh, basically, Shingo is, uh, Kyo's apprentice. He's also a good boy. Basically. He sounds like a bitch. <laughs> wow. Wow, I didn't even, I didn't even talk about him yet. Come on. What? He's, like, one syllable off from Shinji, okay? Like, I don't have a lot of faith in him so far. Yeah, but it's Shingo. It's like, go get him. Let's go get him. Anyway. That was fast. So he was a, an average kid uh, one day, and uh, okay. all of a sudden he was watching fucking KOF. Well, shit, I'm and then he saw... He saw Kyo fighting, and he's like, wow, look at that guy. He's so cool. And then he saw Kyo use fire. He's like, wow, he's even cooler than I thought. I gotta go be his apprentice. But how am I gonna find him in this big world? Turns out he's going to the same school Kyo is. That's gonna be it. Because of course. Yeah. And he approaches Kyo, he's like, hey Kyo, can I be your apprentice? And Kyo's like, no, go the fuck away. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again tomorrow. Son of a bitch. So he kept asking him over and over again, and eventually Kyo is like, you know what? Fine, you can be my apprentice. But in exchange, I want free food once a day. He's like, deal! And that was actually the deal. He gets one free meal a day. 
so uh, he ends up learning uh, Kusanagi arts from Kyo, but it turns out he can't use the fire Kyo he's using because it's a Kusanagi thing. Sucks to be a normie. Sucks to be a normie. Uh, I'm done with pasta. That was good. Mm. That sounds delicious. Yeah, I got a left or spaghetti pasta. Yeah. So Shingo ends up learning the art style, and uh, eventually he enters, uh, I believe it's 97, yeah it's 97. But uh, he doesn't get very far because he's still a scrub. <laughs> N naturally. But uh, Kyo is all like, you know what, you got Moxie, here take my gloves, I'm not gonna need them where I'm going. So he gives Shingo his gloves, and Shingo's like, wow, I'm gonna use these every single day. And he actually does. Uh, in every entry after this, Shingo uses Kyo's gloves on his model. Or sprite. Whatever. See, that's the little details I don't know, because I don't really know about Shingo that much. I just know that he is the Kyo guy that wants yeah. to be him, but isn't. He wants to be him, but he isn't. So, uh... Say goodbye to Scorpius, seven. everybody! Oh, shit, it's happening. Goodbye, Scorpius! You murdered my father! I will have That's nice. Shoryuken! Ah, my vengeance. Continue, Ron. Okay. So, uh, at the end of 97, Kyo disappears, and Shingo's all like, what the fuck? Uh, before I go on to 99, though, I have to talk about 98, which is actually, uh, an interesting game in the fact that it's a dream match. What's a dream match? Well, it's, uh game where the impossible happens. Everybody is here before Smash made it cool. Yeah, everybody is here basically. Uh, Gonuts is here, Rugal is here, all the members of the hockey show are here, Orochi is here, and worst of all, the American Sports Club is here. Fuck those losers. Anyway. <laughs> don't like them. <laughs> I don't like the American Sports Club. Heavy D is okay, but he's all, but he's held by, back by the fact that his name is Heavy D. <laughs> what? Heavy D is an awesome name! Uh... Ray. <laughs> Ray. Heavy D! Ray. <laughs> that name is not awesome, and you know exactly why. <laughs> What's wrong no, no, mm, 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 with mm, mm. Heavy D? <laughs> I just went fucking Extella view on me there, Jesus Christ. G. Double G. Double G. <laughs> this is my son, Double D. Okay. I decided to do that once. I bet D's are heavy, aren't they? Anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so there is a plot in 98, and that's the fact that Shingo is dreaming. And that's it. That's, that's a why heavy I... dream there. That's Could say it dream. was a heavy D. So King of Fighters 99, uh, the beginning of the NES saga. Yeah. So 99 is my favorite. Clones? Uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys like clones. No. Uh, <laughs> clones is debatable. It's like, something, it depends on the story. Well, unfortunately, we clone Q. <laughs> fucking not fucking normies. Why'd you do that? So at the end of uh, Orochi's Defeat. Three. At the end of Orochi's Defeat in 98. 90, 97, yeah, 97. Uh, Kyo gets knocked out, and he gets picked up by these shifty guys called, uh, Nests. And they bring him to a lab, and they're like, Hey, you, you defeated a roastie, so we're gonna use your powers to experiment and shit. Yay! So Did you before... say Ness? You leave Earthbound out of this, Ron. No, it's like, it's like a bird's nest. A bird's nest? That sounds weird. Right. Well, stay tuned. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, they end up experimenting on Kyo, and he ends up waking up. And, uh, he's all like, wait a minute, where the fuck am I? And he ends up killing everyone, well, not killing everyone, but probably knocking him out. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> That's a turn. <laughs> and he escapes the lab, and he has no idea where he is, and he vanishes for about two games. So, 99 finally begins, and... She Shingo and uh, Benny Maru end up, end up showing up somewhere. They have letters. They're like, hey, Kyo called me here. Oh, no, that's bullshit. Kyo called me here. What? What's going on? But instead of Kyo showing up, it's these two dudes, this big dude named Maxima, who's an android, and uh, K-Dash, this dude in black and sunglasses. Kind of emo. 
with gray hair. To let you know. Just to let you know. Just to let you know. And that's how 99 starts. Uh, they get into a KOF team with these losers. k is the protagonist of the Nest Saga. And uh, he actually was made to replace Kyo and Iori, but then they realized, wait a minute, if we replace Kyo and Iori, people are going to be pissed off. Yeah, the Street Fighter 3 conundrum. Why would yeah. why would we ever? So Kyo and Iori are uh, basically secret characters. Yeah, you gotta play like really well and you can get to fight them. And some yeah. hype shit. So, uh, Kate Ash's team is going through the whole tournament and fighting familiar faces. Uh, pretty much most characters are here. The Art of Fighting team, the Fatal Fury team, of course. Athena's team, uh, the Women's Fighter team. Just, you know, your fan favorites. But not the American Sports team, thank God. <laughs> Ness was like, nah, too Why much, Heavy D. <laughs> what is with this American sports team? They're, they're, they're just lamers. I, I don't like them. What? What? <laughs> Why are they lame? I don't understand. So they so go. Confused. To... <laughs> they go no. To... <laughs> Why are you going to tell me? Why are they lame? What's wrong with the American sports team? My cat's upset too. You got to tell me. <laughs> I don't particularly know uh, what's wrong with the American sports team aside from the name of Heavy D, but they're just kind of like there and like al almost borderline racial stereotypes. Yeah. Yeah, but you of. like Street Fighter. Almost, I said. <laughs> <laughs> but you like Street Fighter. <laughs> they're they're the joke team, basically. They showed up in '94, and then after that, they uh, they keep getting beat up by other teams, and their invitations stole them. Wow. Yeah. And not this time, apparently. Yeah, they do nothing, basically. No. But they're the American sport. <laughs> <laughs> also, Brian just wait for the time, Ron. Just go, shut up, Al. God damn it. <laughs> Brian Battler is a stupid name, too. I'm not going to lie. What? That's an amazing name. How can you? All right. <laughs> I think I'm not even I think like with fucking heavy D. How can you think Brian Battler is a bad name? Have you seen his design? No, but I don't want to talk about that. We're talking about his name. This great name. It's yeah. a bit, it's a, it's a bit it's shy a of name. Brian Blessed. It's like a oh, Yu-Gi-Oh name. Is like, great. I'm Brian Battler, and this is my boxing deck. Like, come on, man. No, <laughs> Rondo, you can't be that bad. Anyway, run. So uh, they get Kadas actually wins the tournament. The whole team does, and they get to the end, and uh, it turns out uh, Ness is actually doing some bullshit in the background. You know the Kyo clones I mentioned before? Well, uh, uh, they're an army now. Uh oh, they're an army now. And they end up uh, sending them all across the world for some reason. I don't know why. And they just insert themselves into the crowd, and they're all like, "Okay, we're gonna focus and not like kill some leaders and take over." I don't fucking know. Uh huh. They have a leader named uh, Chrysalid. What? Fucking pain in the ass, that dude. By the way, but anyway, man, that game sucks. Yeah. So Chrysalid ends up meeting Kate at the scene. He's like, "Ah, oh, you've done well. You've gathered all the fighters together, and uh, you've uh, you won a tournament. I don't know why we're doing this." Uh, but I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, you're actually my clone, and, uh, you, you've been used all this time, and we're probably gonna have to terminate, terminate you now, and not use all these secrets. Terminate. Ter, ter, terminate. Termites. Termites. <laughs> and Kate asks, like, what the fuck? I, I don't wanna die, I like living. The fuck you, dude. Don't kill me. I'll kill yeah. me. And Crystal is all like, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do it then, and then a boss fight happens. What? No. Not a boss fight. No, not well, a boss uh, fight. Uh, he is a pain in the ass, you know how SNK bosses are. Uh huh. No, he's yeah. he's bad, dude. It's huge, terrible. huge guy. Dude's got like moves with infinite priority and hella high range. Bad. Fun. So K Dash ends up beating him, if you somehow beat him anyway. <laughs> and uh, he's all like, oh, I was lying. You were actually my, I was actually your clone. And K Dash is like, I'm confused. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I just want to find my memories, man. 
So Kadash gets separated from uh, Benny Maru and Shingo, who both escape, and uh, the authorities show up. Escape! And, uh, escape! The authorities show up uh, and they confront Kadash and Maxima, and they're like, "Hey, you're under arrest because well, you're under arrest." Because, because they're Ness products, and they're like, "Oh, we want answers and shit." You're so under Kadesh, arrest. Why? Because you're under arrest. Why? Because you're under. So Kadash and Maxima go look at each other and are like, oh, well, I guess we're fugitives now, and Maxima blows everything up because he's an android and he can do that. Okay. And they just leave. Yeah. Sure. So King of Fighters 2001. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we get to... Uh, that feel when that was the setup. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the setup. That Basically, was the setup. Kadash and Maxima are now fugitives and they're on the run. But uh, they attend the next tournament anyway because they want to get back at Ness for everything they've done. They've done. They form another team with uh, a guy named Seth. I do believe that's his name. Uh oh, Street Fighter. No, it, it's a different Seth. Different Seth. Right. He's a he's a suave black man in a suit. Yep. Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they they also partner up with Ling, who is a Chinese assassin. <gasps> Mei Ling, I hate that bitch. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> what? So she was terrible. Have you seen Gundam 00? Fuck that girl. I think her name is Wong Lume, actually. Is it? Oh, whatever. Close yeah. enough. So here's the funny part. Ling is actually after me. I'm in this game. What? I, yeah, there's a guy named Ron running around. He's an assassin. Ronald Feast. <laughs> So they end up joining, uh, forming a squad together, and they enter a tournament, and okay. uh, they get to the end. And uh, actually, in the background, there's another story. Uh, Hydern, who is like this big military dude, uh, is working together with this guy named uh, uh, shit. Hydern. Did you mean Heidegger? Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there we are. We hit that point. I've been waiting for this. Density! <laughs> oh, yeah, it, uh, it was Hydran's uh, upper management guy who was ordering him around. Uh, he's the reason why we have the new KOF. But eventually, near the end, uh, the dude reveals himself to be Major Zero, who is a... <gasps> yes. Fucking James Bond and shit. Major Zero? <laughs> he ends up being a member of Ness and he's uh, manipulating Hydern to gather fighters together for more experimentation and shit. No. You simp. You simp. You simp. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is a series where... Oh, I'm gonna get to that. Hang on. I'm not gonna get mad right now. I'll get oh, mad he's later. gonna get to that. Yeah. Look out, he's gonna get to that. Yeah. Uh, well, before I get to that, uh, Kadash actually ends up fighting someone else before he gets to the finals. He ends up fighting Kula Diamond. Kula Diamond is this, uh... That's a name. Small... Yeah, she's a, a young girl who, with ice powers who is designed to directly counter Kate Ash. Of course she is. But, despite all that, Kate Ash wins, and he actually befriends her somehow. But she still has a back Yeah. <laughs> Kula and Massive for it. I was waiting cool. for Ray to chime in, but I guess not. What was that? I'm sorry? You know, like, friends through fight or whatever? The whole Kula Diamond thing. Oh, yeah. Um, what was that trope name? It's not Fire Force Friends, but they had to be together first. Uh, Come on, Ray, this is your job. <laughs> Good old defeat meets friendship. There we go. There you defeat go. equals friendship. Yeah, that's, that's, that was easy. Trope, you know. That's an easy one, too. Yeah. So we get back to Major Zero and Hydern. Um, Major Zero fucking fires his Zero laser, which is a satellite cannon. Yes, really? Yes, really. And there are several endings involving the satellite cannon here, but the big major thing you guys need to know is that they blow up Southtown with it. Yeah? Not Southtown! Yes, Southtown! It, no! It, I hate it, man. I don't know what Geese was doing at the time. <laughs> well, falling off a building, probably. Probably. Whoa! <laughs> but he's still alive. For now. For now. So, Zero fires the, the satellite cannon. Um, Zero? 
hero? Zero. Zero hero. I'm assuming Kadas is the one who beats him again. Kill me here? Either that or Hydern. But, uh... Major Zero is beaten by someone. And, uh, before he is, he ends up meeting with Whip. Uh, Whip would be a member of Hydern's little crew. She also lost her memory. Go figure. Wow, the Belmonts have gotten really bad at naming their kids. <laughs> she speaks with Zero, and Zero's all like, Hey, you're a Nest product. I recognize you. And Whip's all like, No, you're lying. No, I'm not. Shut up, and she shoots him. Ah! Yeah, but not oh, before... Uh, the permanent uh, solution. Yeah, the permanent solution. Ah! But uh, ah. in one of the endings, actually, Zero gets destroyed by his own satellite laser. It's pretty funny. Wow. What yeah. a laser. How do you lose so, your own, like, orbital laser? But that could just be Orbital Wobble! <laughs> oh, there he is. There you, there you are, Ray. You're back. You're back. So Whip ends up finding K Dash. And uh, it turns out Whip is actually uh, K Dash's sister. Huh? Yeah. Wow. And uh, she's all like, you know what? I'm pissed at Nest. I want to join you and help destroy it. And every, I've got to say, Ron, every time you say K Dash, I'm just like, is that a, is that a, is that a maneuver in like, Smash Bros. Melee? Like... I, I literally can't say K because that's too awkward of a name. But. But I know K-Dash isn't much better, but that's his name. That's how they pronounce it. Well, you got me there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just like Jade, Jade said, it's K-Bat. <laughs> Why are you calling K-Comma? Because that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be K-Prime, actually, but... Oh, is it? Yes, really. Fucking eyes gunned him over here. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a code name because he was designed to uh, surpass uh, Kyo. Because it turns huh. out, K Dash, he's not a Kyo clone, but he does have Kyo's DNA in him through experimentation. And he was designed to uh, surpass K, so K Dash. K uh, Prime. The only problem is uh, K Dash's flames, he can only manipulate flames with his right hand, and when he does, it burns him. Oh, it's Hilda. <laughs> Sasebuka! No, no, no. She's 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 a girl, right? So she'd be Jamao Sasebunai. You know, gotta be cute with it. If you don't get to be Benazir. You don't get your Sasebuka. <laughs> I know the rules of the Gundam universe. So Linda will have her moment, then she'll go back into her fridge. Well, that was anticlimactic. A little bit. <laughs> a lot of it. Go! Yeah! Get him! <laughs> go get him. What's up? Go get him. Fuck get you, him. yellow border. You don't rule me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she's gonna to kill him. Something yeah, she's, she's, she needs to crick. She's the... <laughs> what a loser. What a loser. What a loser. Ray, she's so bad. She's so bad. <laughs> so remind me, so remind me, guys, was I on 2001? I think I was on 2001. Yeah, K Dash burns his hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bands uh, he... is a suit. Bands is a suit. Right. So K K Dash uses a glove to make sure he doesn't burn himself. Right. Ray. Ray, why is she at 1 HP? Really? 1D. This is a travesty, it's hard. Avenge me! Avenge me, no! Bye, bitch, bye. So he wears a glove. Because he's he a little a glove. bitch. Because he doesn't want to get burned. Because he's a little bitch, got it. Do you want to get burned? Hey, look, if, if if I could shoot fire out of my hands and the cost of the third degree burn, yeah. Cool. I'll take that bet. Yeah. So, uh, next game, what was it, 2001? I think it was 2001. Yeah, 99, 2000. Yeah, 2001. So, uh, this is the finale of the Nest Saga. And strap in, it's going to get really weird. Oh, I know it is. I've seen this. <sighs> 
so Ness was all like, you know what? This is getting out of hand. We gotta lure out our experiments and deal with them. So they host one last tournament to get everyone out. And uh, K-Dash, of course, attends with Maxima and Nip Whip and Ling for some reason. He's just along for the ride. And, uh, you know, all your old favorites show up, like Terry. I love Terry. Anyway. Who doesn't love Terry? Speak up so we know who to ban. Good. The funny thing is, Terry actually has its own little arc with Blue Mary in this thing. Geese? Well, Geese falls on buildings, so he's paid his dues. <laughs> geese stands. Well, Geese falls. Nice res, right? Look at this amazing unit. Charlo is so good. Ah, uh, Berserk good. Staff's coming, coming all right. Geese cube. <laughs> Fucking Geese cube. I really wanted to add that, but it's literally like eight kilobytes over the limit. Uh, they updated the Discord, so I think you can. No. I'm pretty sure you can. No. Uh, can someone throw up a Geese cube in Emoji, 250 kilobyte in size. I have it still. I have Geese Cube. Nope, too big. I, I could have sworn I saw a Geese Cube emoji somewhere. Look, maybe they shrunk it, but the one I have is too big. Uh, can someone be a pal and throw it up in the general chat so we can use that? I'm just gonna try and upload the one Rainbow has. Okay. Nope, too big. All right. Well, if I do find one, I'll let you know. <laughs> so back to the tournament. Uh, and guess what? K Dash wins again. Because, <laughs> you know, hero. Okay, so the, the, the Geese Cube is 278 kilobytes and it has to be 256. I see. Yeah, it's that bad. That's painful. It's that close. So they win again on a blimp. And uh, for some reason, the blimp, the blimp, uh, not a blimp, not a dirigible. Yeah, it's a not a dirigible. But it turns out the blimp was a lie. It's actually a rocket. <gasps> no, not a rocket. Yeah. And uh, they end up going into space. And uh, oh, excuse me. No, Byron. Hmm. Sorry, I'm burp. Just go ahead. It adds character. <laughs> it adds character. So they, go, they start going into space, and they fight uh, Major Zero, actually. But the real one. Apparently the one in the last game was a clone. <laughs> Not a very good one, they look totally different. So they, they pointed this out in an interview. And that uh, in the last game, Major Zero looked way too much like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> What I'm getting at is he doesn't look intimidating, so we're like, oh, let's just redesign him, but he's dead. Well, let's make an excuse, let's fucking clone him. Oh, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, we're fighting the real Zero here, who looks more intimidating. I'm the real Zero. <laughs> My hero Zero, that's a trope, you know. What? A heroic and, character uh, was named Zero. Wow. So, Interesting thing about the Nest Saga is that oh, there's a new please. there's a new system called the Striker System. Yep. Uh -huh. And uh, you get to have a fourth member in your team, but that fourth member is basically a Marvel Assist. Oh yeah, the GM Striker is pretty cool, so I'm okay with this. Yeah. Uh, this dude Zero has three Strikers on hand. Uh huh. So he's fighting by himself, but he can summon he can summon a lion. Like a giant black lion just roaring at you. Wow. Yeah. And then he can summon Chrysalid, or a clone of Chrysalid, I guess, because he's not supposed to be alive. Eh. Details. And me. He summons me. Ah, run! Betrayer! Yeah. I thought you were going to be a good guy. But the assassin are. around there. Joining with the baddies. How could you? The real one doesn't fart in your face, it's a frame trap. <laughs> so, Kate has, ends up beating Zero, the real Zero, I guess. And, <laughs> the uh, real Zero. As opposed to the fake Zero. As opposed to the fake Zero. And he gets to the space station. And Zero's all like, 
you know what? You're pretty good. Go meet my boss. I'm just gonna stay here on this exploding ship. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's the end of zero for real, I guess. Calm down, Durandal. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Durandal. Ray gets it. Fucking. Fucking Durandal. Every time it comes back to him now. Man, it all, it all comes back to destiny. You can't hide from destiny. You can't hide from destiny. Destiny is just something we have to accept. Hey! Hey! So we finally meet the big, we meet the big bad boss of nests, and that would be uh, Ignis. Instructions, please. I mean, that skill's okay. I don't know how I could become a boss though. Ignis. <laughs> so ends up uh, the dudes all like I. Uh, this whole operation was to make sure I become a god somehow. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'm going to rule over this new world, and you guys are just going to watch. Uh huh. But before you start watching, I want to kick your asses. Uh -huh. By the way, by the way uh, Ignis is so ridiculous that he doesn't have a super bar. He just does supers anytime he wants. Ah, fun. Yeah, he's yeah. one of those guys. For the whole family. For the whole family. So no, no one is actually fun. So he ends up defeating Kadax's team, actually. <gasps> yeah. How could he? And it looks like he's about to win, but out of nowhere, Kyo, Iori, and Kula show up. Alrighty. And they're all like, hey, we're going to help you beat this guy. And then Kadax is like, okay. And they all, uh... I believe together. this one was boss number 11. Sure. Oh, shit, it is 11. So the four of them kick in Ignis's ass because he's a scrub around killing Iori. I mean, a dude beat a Rotsi. We're listening, don't worry. Funny you should say that. What? We got Why? a visitor? And who are you? Philippe! Philippe, <laughs> sire! Yeah? Philippe! I like this guy already. He's here to flip you off and tell you to go flop yourself. Perfect. He's not. What? You saved all of the children? You saved the children, but not the British children. And killed his own city. Uh. Wow, Ishtar did a cool thing. We're supposed to feel sympathy for her now. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> you mean you don't? No, no, I don't. But Ray, she did the cool thing. She is in love with the literal demon lord. Man, like, he... that's not her fault. You can't control who you love, Ray. But, but it's Ray, half her fault. Not... No. Her Ray, mom, her not... mom's totally into it. She wants that arranged marriage dick so bad. Mm. <laughs> Okay. Well, that makes it her mom's fault. Okay, that's not her fault. Yeah. Can't 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 blame the children for the sins of the parents. Except for Julius. Except for Julius. <laughs> it's got to be one of those two. Got to have. One. We'll have to find Julius first. Otherwise, we can't beat the game. We won't have a hope in hell against Julius. But no matter what's happened, Julius is still her brother. Will she even want to fight him? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we'll have to convince her. <laughs> Does she even want to fight him? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I believe... No? Was it you? No? Yes, it's later. Uh, there, I think there are some more talks that happen after this event. Or I think we I think we burned through them all. Yeah, there's not much left, is there? Yeah, I think we okay. burned through them. I think we burned through them all. Uh, most regular, there are a bunch of regular conversations for uh, non-sub kids, but uh, Ray is playing with the rejects. So he doesn't <laughs> get any conversation. Anyway, Femina has a talk with either Sela <laughs> for a mid if they're if uh, she's in love with either one of them, and she they get plus three skill. Ray, you can't just you can't just do that. I did. Well, out of nowhere. I don't care. RKO out of They are the rejects, and you'll have to live with this. I did? <laughs> he did. Well, I'm glad. 